Good evening and welcome to our evening office of Vespers on this Thursday after the Epiphany, the showing of our Lord Jesus Christ to the world as represented by those wise men from the East, from the only known countries, other countries outside the Holy Land at that time. We come still in the... the, the The season of Epiphany is about light, the light of the Lord being shown to the Gentiles. And we ask the Lord to send his light into our hearts. Those uh, monks singing there in Latin chant was, reminds me of the monastery I go to um, quite frequently to have a retreat, usually a silent retreat, but I've, I'm invited to live with the monks at that time. And so I try to attend all their offices. And of course, this is just one of the seven offices of the day that are sung in religious institutions. It's the part of the office which we have to take as ordained clergy, both deacons, priests, and bishops. They make an oath at their ordination to recite the daily office. The monks have their regular hours. As secular clergy, we sometimes can't keep exactly to the hours, but we still are obliged to say the office, and we do try and fit that in wherever we can. So it's a good time that we have this fixed time here this evening. The hinges of the daily prayer, as it's called, are morning and evening prayer, the main offices and uh, in our presbytery we usually meet for communal morning prayer at 8 30 and now every evening here at uh, 6 p.m uh, where we live stream to you it's part of that regular rhythm of prayer that goes up throughout the world at the, all these set hours of the day every day of the year there's this constant stream of prayer to god and it's lovely to have you with us to join in and be part of that streaming of prayer, of thanksgiving to God, and also laying our petitions before him. So let us commence our liturgy this evening with the Angelus, followed by Vespers, and during the intercessions, your prayers will be offered. Those that you've sent in to ask us to light a candle for, they will be offered. Following the simple blessing at the end of Vespers, we will say one decade of the rosary. Thursday is for the luminous mysteries, of course, put in place by Pope John Paul II, or Saint Pope John Paul II. And I've chosen today the manifestation of Christ at Cana, one of the luminous mysteries, the mysteries of light, as this theme of light of epiphany um, is, goes through our liturgy light and baptism. So we would consider that. We'll meditate on our Lord showing himself at the beginning of his ministry as someone very different, not just your ordinary prophet, but someone who can act miracles, the changing of water into wine at that Cana wedding. So we commence now with the message of the angel to our Blessed Lady the start of our salvation history. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Bethlehem of noblesse cities, with it once a faith compare, thou alone the Lord from heaven didst for us incarnate bear. Fairer than the sun at morning was the star that told his birth to the lands their God announcing seen in human form on earth. By its peerless beauty guided see the eastern kings appear Bowing low their gifts they offer, gifts of incense, gold, and myrrh. Sacred gifts of mystic meaning, incense doth the God disclose. Gold the King of kings proclaimeth, a future tomb for shows. In thy glory, O Lord Jesus, to the Gentile world displayed with the Father and the Spirit, endless praise to thee be paid. I will make you the light of the nations to bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and Seba, Seco shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Sabo shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate. All nations shall serve him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. I will make you the light of the nations to bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. The Lord will save the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. 
For he shall save the poor when they cry and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. To him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May men flourish in the cities like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end, amen. The Lord will save the poor from oppression he will rescue their lives. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Victory and empire have been won by our God. From the first letter of St. Peter. You have been obedient to the truth and purified your souls until you can love like brothers in sincerity. Let your love for each other be real and from a pure heart. Your new birth was not from any mortal seed, but from the everlasting word of the living and eternal God. All the peoples will bless him in him. All the peoples will be blessed in him. All nations will praise him. All the peoples will be blessed in him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. All the peoples will be blessed in him. The sight of the star filled them with delight. And going into the house, they gave the Lord gold, frankincense, and myrrh. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. 
holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The sight of the star filled them with delight, and going into the house, they gave the Lord gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Blessed be Christ the Lord, who came to be with us, to give light to those who live in darkness and the shadow of death. Christ, rising sun, shed your light on all people. Christ our Lord, at your coming, your body, the church, was born. May it ever grow on earth and build itself up in love. Christ, rising sun, shed your light on all people. You hold heaven and earth in your hands. Let all races and nations proclaim you as their Lord. Christ, rising sun, shed your light on all people. Through your incarnation, you became our eternal high priest. Renew in all your priests the grace of proclaiming your redemption. Christ, rising sun, shed your light on all men. You were born of a virgin mother. Bless all religious women and make them the living sign of the church, which is your bride. Christ, rising sun, shed your light on all people. By taking mortal flesh, you ended the power of death. Unite the departed with yourself in everlasting life. Christ, rising sun, shed your light on all people. Our first prayer is one of thankfulness for all who are in the service of God, who give their lives to his service. And we pray for an increase in the sacred ministry of deacons, of priests and bishops. We pray for all the doctors and nurses who are administering the COVID vaccine in stressful conditions and all particularly who are exhausted from caring for sick people. We pray for the leaders of our government and the health service and all responsible reporting in the media. We pray for the four hospitals in our own parish, particularly the Royal Surrey County Hospital, and for all the nursing homes and care homes. We pray for our schools, particularly those students now who are at home and distance learning. 
that they will have all the facilities that they need. We pray for their families at this time, for those who have to make special arrangements for childcare. We pray for all who are sick. We pray for all prisoners suffering depression in their lockdown who have no visitors at this time and probably for many months. And especially we're asked to pray for the prisoners of B section of Westville, Westville prison. For Maria Sellers who having recovered from COVID is now back in hospital with a heart condition. We pray for her and all who care for her at this time. We pray for Elizabeth Lewis, who is due to have a major operation early next week, that it will be successful and she will have a speedy recovery. We pray for Lexini in Greece and Fionula in Spain, who has a brain condition, and both of their families. For Peter Philip and Pamela Swenson, both suffering from COVID. We pray for Nick White, Terry's son, unwell at this time with COVID. David and Marianne ask for prayers that their daughter Sean's test results will be clear and that she receives complete healing. Eileen asks that we pray for her son Terry and her granddaughter Lisa. And we pray for the faithful departed, for Uncle Gregory who died this afternoon and for his family. Emma requests prayers for the soul of Beatrice Marie Machacho, who died at a young age. We also pray for Na, who died on Monday from COVID, remembering his wife Rosen and his children. Carlos Silva's dad, who died this week, also called Carlos. We pray for Bev Masterton. And a prayer request for Francis to pray for David Allen on this the third anniversary of his death at this time. Grant him eternal rest, merciful Father. Prayer requests also pray for Dina's father, who passed away recently, and for the family at this sad time. And we pray for all priests who have died in, in service of our diocese. We pray for all those who are grieving at this time. Let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And to conclude our liturgy this evening, 
We'd have one decade of the rosary from the luminous mysteries, the manifestation of Christ at the wedding at Cana. When Cana witnessed his first miracle of changing the water into wine. And oh, what wine it was. They'd left the best till the last, the host said. Let us pray to Our Lady to intercede for us, that we truly see Christ as he really is, and that we show him forth with his light in our lives. We ask for her prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, gate of heaven, star of the sea, Assist your people who have fallen, yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature, you bore your creator, yet remained a virgin after as before. You who received Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us poor sinners. Have pity on us poor sinners. 